That's right, the title is not clickbait. We are reaching a $10,000 profit on our Yu-Gi-Oh! investment. Let's dive on into all this money, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most, Avery LR32 here. Destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button so we can climb even higher the 1400 ladder. Hope y'all having a fantastic day. So, I want to talk about an update to our investments that we have been making over time on this channel. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you'll know that we bought uh, a Kaiba briefcase as well as a stainless steel set of the Egyptian gods, which in case you don't know or you just don't remember... The stainless steel gods are actually numbered. So we have number 0731, so number 731. Um, and with the Kaiba briefcase, yes, we kept the uh, Kaiba deck sealed. Uh, so it's still in its like sealed manufacturer packaging. Just the quarter century blue eyes is over 300, close to over 400 at the time of me making this video. The bl uh, blue eyes briefcase, the Kaiba briefcase is like 11 to 1200 right now. And you might be thinking, well, Avery, that's like close to two grand. Where are you getting this other $8,000? The blue eyes that people are taking out and grading on their own, just one copy on average is anywhere from like five to seven hundred dollars if you want them in like the stainless steel like casing you're looking at anywhere from like two thousand to i've seen some sold for as high as five thousand and again these aren't like buy it now listings on ebay this is sold i've seen a thousand i've seen 15 i've seen 700 i've seen two thousand i've seen five thousand so the numbers range very much how someone pulled off a five thousand dollar sale i don't know um, and the same with the God cards. They're being sold for, on average, over 800 Like, I'd say like 850 to 900 If you're lucky, you can find one for 700 to 750 I've seen some for as high as 1000 2000 all the way up to $5,000. Um, that's also not even including, remember, we bought one each of the 25th anniversary reprint boxes. So we've got a box of LOB, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Metal Readers. We've got one of each, right? And then the briefcase itself goes for a couple hundred, which I don't think I'm going to get rid of the briefcase because it actually holds cards pretty well. So, in th not even in theory, like it's just sort of a fact. You combine everything together, you're looking at an over ten thousand dollar profit on a four. What was it? Eight hundred dollar investment. Uh, just counting the briefcase and the the god cards, obviously, because the god cards were four hundred. The briefcase was like what four or five hundred. So like we're talking an eight to nine hundred dollar investment, over ten thousand dollars in profit. Now, does that mean I'm going to suddenly go and list all these cards on eBay? Absolutely not. Am I going to go like open up the blue eyes deck and sell each card individually? Absolutely not. I don't care how expensive a card like Grappler is, uh, or even Attack Guidance Armor, which on its own is a hundred dollars. I'm keeping that deck sealed because even if cards like Attack Guidance Armor and Life Shaver are $100 a piece, which that's not a BS answer, that's actually like what they've been going for on average, even Grappler is like $15 to $20 because this is its first ever English printing. I'm not going to open up that deck and sell each card individually. It's going to be much easier to keep that deck sealed and sell for like anywhere from 1000 to 2000 bucks because it's still sealed. It has all the cards in near mint condition. It's it's absolutely incredible. Uh, like, it's actually shocked me how much the market has gone crazy on these things. And now that we're a little bit removed from the time that these have come out, it's interesting to see like where the prices are going. Like, I remember the prices kind of dropped on the Kaiba briefcase a little bit. Maybe by the time you see this video, you know, if it's like a month later, the prices I'm sure are going to be different. But like, I saw them going for like a thousand seventy five sealed briefcases so like you get the blue eyes you get the deck you get everything and for over a thousand dollars it's like that's not terrible all things considered you know it was obviously better when they were seven to eight hundred um but a thousand is still not bad if you want to get in on a sealed briefcase but 
no. I, the, the blue eyes is on their own are going to sell like hotcakes. The god cards, I think, will take time. The god cards are definitely not something I think that should even be pulled out and graded because they're not playable cards, right? Like these are collector's items that you put up on a shelf. I've put up in my upstairs office just to make it look good with my, you know, gaming setup with the retro stuff that I've posted on the community post on this channel before. They make beautiful pieces, uh, not to mention the sealed boxes of the 25th anniversary stuff. It's it's worth a lot, and I'm actually really impressed with how good this investment was because I originally wasn't going to get a briefcase, and then I was like, you know, let's pull the trigger on this. Let's see what happens. We're going to sit on this investment. We have a decent amount of money set aside that we have, you know, spending for even with my you know, medical bills and things like that, um, with like my, my cancer stuff and whatever. Um, but we've been able to make decent money working as a pharmacy tech. Let's kind of spend a little bit here and it's paid off in dividends, like making thousands of dollars on this investment and just letting it sit is fantastic. Now, for those of you who are probably asking Avery, I want to get in on this free money. Like, should I get in on this? If you want to get a sealed briefcase that comes with the sealed deck, the sealed blue eyes, the sealed everything, if you can get it for under $1,000, you take it and you run with it. If you have to spend 1000 or more, if you have to spend anything higher than 1000 I think you're really kind of pushing it because that means you're going to have to hold on to your investment longer, and that's also $1,000 that you have tied up in said investment, whereas I have like at most $850 tied up in this investment, and I've already recouped that money through, you know, working a part-time job. So there is that to consider. Um, obviously, if you have bills to pay, you know, no one's going to go out and spend $1,000 on a briefcase when you could be spending $1,000 on Snake Eyes cards. <laughs> so there's that option too. Um but in terms of like a long-term investment, and that's the other thing to keep in mind is that these investments that I'm talking about, yes, we're in the range of making 10 grand. Like if I were to sell everything with, e with eBay, like taking their cut, I could walk away with several thousand. But I would rather walk away when I know I can make like six figures, which is going to take time. So again, if you want to get in on this, this is not something where you're going to buy it and flip it in a week. This is something that you're going to buy, you're going to hold on for a year or two, and you're going to see where the prices are. Like, I'm very curious to see, like, six to nine months after this video is posted, where these prices stand. Because even Starlight Rares have dropped in price. Like, ever since the Quarter Century stuff came out and some of the Starlights dropped in price, you know, Attack, Guidance, Armor, and Life Shaver could be in the next rarity collection that could be in the tins this year that could possibly drop the price um of the original prints from this kaiba briefcase i don't think that it will because really the prices are just inflated now because they're collector's cards um same with magical trick mirror like magical trick mirror attack guidance armor and life shaver are not good cards to any extent you know uh, like it's stuff from the anime it's cute um but in regards to an investment yeah you're making good money if you just sit on this because eventually it will go up. This isn't like something you have to worry about a ban list hitting it. You know, five years from now, maybe you could make six figures on this investment. But I'm really happy that I pulled the trigger on this. I'm glad that the investment has gone up. I was going to show the cards in the video, but I was like, I just want to get to vlogging and talking about this because there's not much to talk about in the format right now. And I've been playtesting Tempi like crazy. So. There's nothing new to report other than YGO Process posted my feature match. So if you want to watch me whiff like one whole game and then we come back in games two and three, have fun watching me misplay like a dummy. But then we come back and we end up winning the match anyway. But guys, let me know. Have you made any sort of Yu-Gi-Oh investments? Let me know down in the comments below. Have any of your investments paid off? And if you got a briefcase, are you still holding on to it? Are you keeping it sealed? What you doing, pimp? Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.